Hi guys, I'm going to be taking a little holiday break shortly, but before I go I thought I'd just do an update on my little rocking snowman here. This is the one that's been running since February on potato batteries. It should be a solar powered snowman, but as you can see I've taken out the solar panel little electric circuits back there and it's been diverted to be fed from these batteries uh, batteries, these potatoes that are in the background so we'll just do a close up on those potatoes so you can see why I'm surprised that he's still going after four months we're in close up mode now you can see the coil inside the snowman and the magnet flashing across it that makes him rock around the back here or around the side hopefully you can just about see the wires those are the wires that go to the coil that's the little bit of circuitry that was inside capacitor, black blob and then where the solar panel was connected we've got these green wires which go around the back of the snowman and over to the potato battery one side connects to the copper that's just ordinary power cable that I've stripped the insulation off poked it in and out of each of the potatoes and the other side, the other green wire goes to the zinc coated nails that are pushed into each section of the potato. And as you can probably see, that potato is pretty dried up now. I can't remember how many potatoes I used originally. It was probably, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sections. So it's probably five small potatoes sliced in half. But as you can see, they've completely dried up now. Well, say completely, they can't have completely dried up or we'd have no electrolyte at all. But there must be just enough in there to keep this running. I just had to check the wiring there because I couldn't remember how I wired this thing up. Um, what we've got is five potatoes in parallel along the front five potatoes in parallel along the back and then we've gone series from the front to the back so we've got double the voltage so I think we get about 0.7 or 0.8 of a volt out of the potato battery as it is so doubling it up we got about 1.4 it's probably less than that but whatever it is it's enough to keep this chap running so there we go we'll see if he can do another two months